Voilà. 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 Spot Bomb Fitness coming to you live. We live in a society today that when you meet people, they ask you, where do you work? Um, where do you stay? You know, people ascribe value to the material wealth or the job that you have or your qualification that you have. They always ask you about what you are, but seldom asking you who you are. And it's the same with the school system. What do you want to become when you grow up? A teacher? A doctor? But no one ever asks this pertinent question. Who do you want to become? Just cause I talk about Jesus don't mean I need Jesus pieces I've been fighting against these demons like it's demon season I've been sinning without repenting, I gotta fix my life now I've been sitting all in my feelings Israel has launched airstrikes across southern Lebanon, calling it a preemptive strike on Hezbollah. Meantime, the militant group said it launched hundreds of rockets and drones to avenge the killing of one of its top commanders last month. There are fears an all-out war could draw in the U.S., Iran, and militant groups across the region. The heavy exchange of fire comes as U.S. and Arab mediators try to broker a ceasefire deal in the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. The last book of the Bible... There's two groups of people, the inhabitants of the earth and the citizens of heaven, or the kingdom of God, the saints. When you are attached to the things of this world, you become an inhabitant of this earth. Your whole life, your whole dreams, your whole purpose is fixated on what happens here on this earth. The Bible says, do not gather yourself treasures where moth and rust can get to, but rather gather, gather yourself treasures that are in heaven. That is the end goal. The kingdom of God, Christ Jesus, Him tabernacling with us. Not this existence that we are at now. Here we are called to worship. Here we are called to tell people about the goodness of Christ in the land of the living. Explosions and flashes of rocket fire lighting up the sky over the Israel-Lebanon border in the most heated exchange of fire between Israel and Hezbollah since the war began, amplifying the risk of a regional war. Scores of Israeli missiles fired into southern Lebanon to take out Hezbollah military targets. An Israeli military spokesperson says Hezbollah was planning to attack Israeli civilians. As a result of the airstrikes, flights headed to Israel's Ben Gurion airport are being diverted. All under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit writes to Timothy the following words. Paul reiterates the following. You came with nothing into this world and you will leave with nothing. To have clothes on your back and food in your belly, you have to be content with that. But we are seldom satisfied in life. We are not satisfied with where we live. We are not satisfied with what we drive. We are not satisfied with what we have in our bank balance. Simply because of covetousness. We want what other people want and when we have it, it's not enough. It is never enough. We are never satisfied because we are attached to the system of this world and how the world operates. Christianity and Christ's followers, we ought to die daily to this human nature. But the world says, get, store up, put away, get more, chasing. And that's what I want to leave to you today. We become vexed because in our own minds, we don't have enough. But the Bible is clear, when you have food to eat and clothes on your body, be satisfied with those things. To this now, residents in the St. Francis Bay area in the Eastern Cape are a buzz after a meteor was seen hurtling across the sky. Now they say they saw a flash of blue light like a falling star crossing the sky. The image was posted on social media after it was spotted earlier today. A massive bang was also heard as far away as Plattenberg Bay and Neisner. At the same time, crew on board a whaling boat say that the meteorite crashed into the sea near their boat. 
It is said to have left off a blue light accompanied by a number of explosions as well as flashes of light before it sank. The last book of the Bible, there's two groups of people, the inhabitants of the earth and the citizens of heaven, the kingdom of God, the saints. When you are attached to the things of this world, you become an inhabitant of this earth. Your whole life, your whole dreams, your whole purpose is fixated on what happens here on this earth. The Bible says, do not gather yourself treasures where moth and rust can get to, but rather gather, gather yourself treasures that are in heaven. That is the end goal, the kingdom of God, Christ Jesus, Him tabernacling with us. Not this existence that we are at now. Here we are called to worship. Here we are called to tell people about the goodness of Christ in the land of the living. Let's have this question. When, where am I when I lose the job? Who am I when I don't get the degree? Who am I when I lose the house? Who am I when I lose all the status in life and all the respect of people? What am I left with? What is my true identity? If my identity is linked to materialism and position and ranks and titles, hey, then it becomes a very sad reality because you then you do everything in your power to keep those things. A time is coming where the Antichrist will rise and it will cause both great and small, young and old, free and bond, rich and poor, to take upon them the mark and the number of his name, 666. And you will not buy or sell if you don't have the mark on the beast, on you, in your right and in your forehead. The infrastructure is in place. Be detached from this world. Detach yourself from sin. Detach yourself from material wealth. Detach yourself from the things that is coming between you and God. Stay away from idols and things offered up unto idols. Keep yourselves pure. Let me tell you, you are created in the image of God. And the only way that you will realize that is when you repent, when you serve the Lord Jesus Christ, when you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that he is the Christ, that he died with, then only you are able to tap into understanding that you are created in the image of God. Then you won't chase after the things of this world, for the love of money is the root of all evil. He said, but stay away from those false gods. Don't mention them. Don't swear by them. Don't bow, bow down to them. But what you want to do, he says, but cling to the Lord. Somebody ought to grab the Lord right now. Cling to him. I'm glad to be a Christian. Songwriter said, Turner, I'm going to cleave to the old rugged cross. Grab hold of Jesus and don't let go. The way they used to say it was get in the word and stay there. Stay there till he comes. See, the Bible is right. Cleave unto the Lord. 
Attach yourself unto Jesus. Feed yourself with His Word. Let His Holy Spirit guide you at all times. Be inseparable from the Lord. And lose yourself from the bondage of the system that we are living in. There's a spot one foot that's coming to your life. No pain. No pain.